adult cell cloning. This is very different from embryo cell cloning. If you haven't looked at that yet, please watch my other video on embryo cell cloning. Adult cell cloning is done when you have a live organism which you would like to copy and have a genetically identical version of. In order to do this, you need to have the female of the species. The female of the species is required because the female will supply an egg. The egg is a special cell which is able to divide into any other cell of the body. So the egg is absolutely vital. The female will also supply the uterus, but although it's, this does not have to be the same female as which supplied the egg. And then you take the organism that, wants to, that needs to be cloned. It could even be the female that supplied the egg, but you still have to use the egg cell. So the cells to obtain are from the female an egg cell. Now don't forget the egg cell is going to contain a nucleus containing half the genetic material of the donor female. And from the uh, organism that needs to be cloned, you can take any cell of the body providing it has the full set of chromosomes. So in terms of humans, 46 chromosomes. A skin cell, for instance, would be sufficient for this. Not a gamete, not a sex cell, as that will only contain half the chromosome number. Now the problem with the egg cell is that it has got this nucleus in, so that has to be removed. That can be done by radiation or simply taking the nucleus out using a pipette. Then the trick is, is to take the complete nucleus from the cell of the organism that needs to be cloned and put it, this can be done physically, into the egg cell. That egg cell, which has the ability to divide into any other cell of the body, now contains the entire genetic makeup of the organism that needs to be cloned, not the donor female. An electric shock will be provided, a very mild electric shock will be provided to simulate the actual process of sperm fertilizing the egg. And that will trigger the cell, the egg cell, to divide. Now as the cell divides, as the embryo divides, each new cell will have the complete genetic makeup, the full set of chromosomes of the organism that you are trying to clone. That's very important in terms of development. Once you're at an, embryo, an embryonic stage, this embryo now needs to be put back into the female uterus in order for it to develop into a whole organism. As I said, this can be the same female that donated the egg or it can be another female. And if all goes well, you'll get successful completion of development and pregnancy, resulting in what we hope is at least one or more genetically identical organisms to the offspring that you wanted to clone.